Hello everyone, this is Michael Angel with cdsoundmaster.com and in this video I'm actually going to walk us through the process of uh, going to the VST plugins page, choosing your purchase, and doing the download, installation, and authorization process. Here we are on the page and we're going to start with R2R, the essential tape collection. Go to choose PC. So you can still choose between 32 and 64. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm buying the 32 bit. I already have both of them, by the way. Surprise, surprise. So you're just going to go through the checkout process. And once you have completed that, you are going to get an email. I'll just show you an example right here. <laughs> Obviously, I did this a few times. Your purchase is complete. So you can view and print your invoice if you'd like to. View purchase online. Now this is going to bring up where you can do your downloads. This one in particular was the, uh, I had done the R2R VST 3264 that comes with R2R and TB+. And just to show you that on the page, you see right here, download real to real VST plugin and Tape Booster Plus audio plugin and save. So rather than... 149 and 49 you get them combined for 179 and uh, customers repeating customers please always email me i'm happy to work out a deal for you all right so what you see is here you have your 32-bit you can download you have your 64-bit you can download you have tape booster 32-bit you can download you have tape booster 64-bit that you can download for product support contact me at my email uh, and you can also get me at cdsoundmaster at gmail.com. Um, I'm trying to stay current on checking both of those. So after you do your download, you can start the installation process. Now I've already done it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again anyway. So let's start with, you are probably going to do the, most likely you will do the 64-bit version. Now, as you can see, in this particular example with R2R, there are two setups. You have one for the main collection, and then you have one with the update when I added the Stu A820 mastering deck. So right click, run as admin. So read this stuff, go here, go here. Actually read this, you'll see that I don't allow you to do some things and I allow you to do some things. I wanna choose my 64-bit program file location. It's already there, but I'm going to do this anyway. Finish. Now we're going to do the same thing with the Stu A820. Run as administrator. Yes. Next. Read it the first time. Plugins. And boom, here we go. So now, very important step, when you open up your DAW, I'm going to be using 64-bit Reaper. Probably need to update this version. Use the right-click Run as Admin, just like you did for installing. Okay, so. So here you can see CDS, R2R, PC, BST. Okay, so here's the folder. It's got all the programs in it. It does not have your serial or authorization file yet. But this, where you have installed, is where you are going to find your serial file and send it to us and I will authorize it and send it back with your auth file. You'll paste the auth file in the same location and then you're set to go. So I'm going to just choose the first one in the list, the R2R, R2R Akai High with a Maxell UDXL 3590B. That's the tape stock that it is. All right, so here it is, and it looks like it's ready to go. The in-gain works, the out-gain works, but bypass works, the over button works, but the drive button is sticking in place at the start position, and it has not been authorized yet. So now that I have opened that in my host, You can see now the R2R SARE file has been generated. So this is your serial file. Email this to me and I will show you what happens when you get it back.
All right, so one last time, you're going to right click Run as Admin to open your DAW, your Digital Audio Workstation. Once again, in this case, I'm using Reaper. So now you can see I've got the same R2R open again. And this can be anything in the collection, in fact. I'll, let's choose the infamous 15 IPS high setting on Wonderful Studer. So we can go back and forth between these guys. Now you'll see that the drive now moves freely. And you can reset it to 12. So in Reaper, you can use the Alt key to make a slower motion, make it easy to dial in very fine details. So anyway, the sign that you have authorized the plugins and are ready to go is when you see that that drive is now freely moving. So that is your installation process for R2R. Repeat the exact same things for TB+, and the R2R SARE file is the serial for the R2R collection and for TB+, since they have always been designed to work together. So if you do buy the Apex Tape Collection and want to get Tape Booster with that as well, you'll have two installs. You'll have the one for Apex and the one for TB+, and you will authorize R2R SARE for TB+, and your Apex SARE for the Apex Tape Collection. But it's all the same process. So you always want to use right-click Run As Admin when you install and when you open your digital audio workstation. Um, that ensures that you're getting around any of your uh, malware um, virus protection software, getting around any of the windows uh, protecting you from uh, not having given administrator rights to write a new file. So that takes care of that. Next videos, we're going to go uh, deep diving through the actual programs. So thanks for watching and God bless you. Bye.